Hey everyone, I just want to do a quick little video tutorial to show you how to set up a DHCP server in a simple computer network so you can get started understanding how it works and how you can set them up. So to start off, we're just going to build a simple one with one switch and one router. So you want to grab in any router, any of them is fine. Um, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's a bit easier for you to see. Uh, and then you just want to grab in any switch is fine. So we've got our router, our switch, and let's just grab a bunch of devices so you can see how this will work when you set it up. So we'll maybe put in a laptop. Uh, we'll put in our DHCP server. Uh, we'll put in another laptop. So we've got a bunch of devices that we're going to be connecting up to our switch. So you come over here, you can use automatic connection. I like to use this when I'm connecting devices to a switch. Uh, it just saves you having to select the ports, which just makes it just a little bit easier. Um, so you just want to connect everything up like so. And then I like to use one where I get to select when it comes to setting up the router just so you can remember what connection it was. So we've used our uh, gigabyte ethernet for the first one, 0-0, connecting up to fast ethernet in here. So we now have this simple setup, looks a bit like a spiderweb. Um, we're now going to set up the router. Okay, so we want to open up the router window. And in here, we're going to be going to CLI. And we're going to press return to start editing our settings in here. So we want to do enable config T. And then remember how we showed, how I showed you before how we connected to the gigabyte 0 0. If you've used a different one, you want to use a different one here. But if you've used the same, this is what you do next. You go interface G0 0. That's a shortcut, so you don't have to type out gigabyte ethernet press enter and now we're going to set the IP address so we're going to do IP address 192.168.1.1 then 255.255.255.0 enter you want to do no shutdown so that it stays on and then exit so we've now configured the IP address for our router we might just go put it in here real quick so the IP address is 192.168.1.1 so that's what we've just set and then we'll go back to regular mouse and we'll come back to this window where we were configuring these settings so now we're going to set up our dhcp pool so we want to type ip dhcp pool abc dash pool all capital letters we're now into the dhcp configuration so now we want to type network 192.168.1.0. So here you want to use zero at the end and not uh, one. And then you want to do the same 255.255.255.0. Then you've put in the configured the IP address, like the main baseline IP address. So now we want to do default router. So you type default dash router, and we now want to enter that same IP address, 192.168.1.1 this time. That's all. Then we do DNS server. So for this, we do 192.168.1.254. This is the end port you want to set for the DNS server. So it's right at the very end. And then you want to press, and you want to type exit. And we're going to go exit again so we're completely out of it and then just do write memory so it's there in the system it's set okay so now if you come out of here we've got everything going we've got the green arrows everywhere so now we're just going to go through and we're going to tweak these devices okay so we're now going to go into each of these computers we'll start off with the first one over here and you want to go to our desktop ip configuration Currently it's on static, which is where in previously you would have put in the different IP addresses for each computer. We're going to click DHCP and watch what happens. It's now requesting the IP address and it's requested the uh, 192.168 and it's given it 1.2, which is the first one in the system. Uh, it's set up the subnet mask, it's set up the default gateway and it's set up the DNS server. So it's all set up completely already for you. So now we just have to rinse and repeat. So we go to the next one. 
and change it to DHCP and see how it's given us 1.3. Again on the next one, and we've gotten 1.4. The next one we have 1.5 and then the next one we have 1.6. So while we're in here, let's go do a ping. Uh, command prompt. I think it is. Wait, no, I think it's terminal. Sorry. It is command prompt. Silly me. Okay, so we're in command prompt on the computer that's 1.6. So let's ping our first one. Now, if you remember what I did these tutorial last time, the first request would always time out and then the rest would work. So let's see how it works with a DHCP server. We've gotten replies instantly. So it is connecting. It's all connected. It's all working. We are getting our pings straight through. So if you press the up key on your keyboard, you can get that command back again. So let's do 1.3. Same again, no problem. Let's do 1.4 again, and we'll do 1.5. And yeah, so that is how you set up a DHCP server for a simple little computer network. I hope that helps.